Good afternoon, everybody. I'm David Bayata, the CEO here at Bayata Home Healthcare. And today is Friday, August 14th. This is your weekly CEO update during the coronavirus pandemic. I want to start with uh, another reminder and request to share your feedback. We've been working really hard over the last few months to be nimble and adaptive to how you're feeling, what you're experiencing, the, uh, tuning into your feedback on what we're doing well or what we need to adjust uh, or, or do differently. And uh, our employee engagement survey uh, not only requests that continued feedback around COVID-19 response, but more broadly as a company, as a community, as an organization, uh, how are we doing and where can we improve? And so the employee engagement survey is open and your feedback's really critical. It's the only way that we can um, gather really, really insightful uh, uh, data about and, and words and, and feelings about where we can get better so that we can rapidly include those in our plans to improve. So fill out the survey. It's really, really important. Um, today we're going to jump into a, an update on our PPE protocol that Nora will share uh, as we seem to be doing quite frequently as the world evolves. And so Nora, I will, uh, I'll hand it over to you. Thank you, David. And again, it's a pleasure to be with you again. And uh, based on your feedback, you know that several weeks ago, we began introducing the need to make sure that each of you protect your eyes as, a, as you go into the clinical care areas. And so we asked you to either wear a face shield or goggles to protect those eyes. Um, and many of you um, began to express to your directors and your clinical managers that in fact, you know, there were some challenges to this. And so you wanted to know some tips. And so we began earnestly trying to identify um, some creative strategies, both around the face shield and around the mask for it to be easier for you to wear. Some of these tips came from you, the clinicians who had found practical solutions and some um, from the literature and some from uh, other, other um, individuals, but we wanted to share them with you because I think that they um, will make the use of the face shields as well as the surgical masks a little easier. So, you know, just again, um, when we use that face shield, uh, remember the first time you get it issued to you, it will have a plastic protective coating on it. So it's kind of hard to see. Uh, try at the corner to peel it up and get that protective coating off. So then again- Scotch tape, Nora, scotch tape in the corner. Scotch tape was one of the other identified ways to get that protective um, plastic off so that you could actually uh, see better. Um, there's also um, some you know, comments about it being loose. And so those hooks that are in the back of the, of the headband are really uh, there for a rubber band or a ponytail holder to be used so that you can adjust that to your head circumference. Um, remember also that uh, it does uh, have the same properties as our glasses and so occasionally it'll fog. Um, and there are tips and tricks that we've included here about how to uh, get, get that to uh, decrease the fogging. So good Dawn soap or baby shampoo or some of the other remedies that uh, dive, uh, individuals that go diving use um, were included in these, in these tips. And, and we've learned that, that um, the use of a, a mask and a, and a face shield also do change uh, you physiologically. So you're drinking less and you're maybe having less caffeine. So you might have a headache or feel a little lightheaded or dizzy. Remember to take those breaks, um, get yourself outside of the clinical care area so that you can uh, take the face shield off and the, and the mask and, and, and hydrate. Take uh, plenty of uh, water breaks as well as if you're a caffeine ingester, uh, the the beverage of your choice uh, that, that will keep that, that headache at bay. So some tips I hope that uh, will help you along the way. I would challenge each one of you. I know how creative you are to begin to submit and give us feedback so we can add to this list because you're going to figure out ways to make the face shield and the mask so much easier to wear. 
Uh, on the left side, we've included some, um, some uh, reminders of when it is safe to remove PPE and how you should don and doff. Remember when you're giving report, um, we, we want you to stay safe. So keep that, that uh, face shield and mask on and then exit uh, the care area uh, as you uh, exit the home environment and clean your, your uh, face shield uh, before you walk out of the house. So just some tips and tricks uh, and hopefully those will help and we look for more good ideas from you. So thanks again and keep up the great work. Appreciate all you're doing day in and day out to care for our clients. Thanks, Nora, and recognition to you and the all the COVID-19 task force participants who, um, you know, incorporated a lot of these questions and feedback in in rapid form into these uh, tips and tricks and recommendations. A great example of how we're working hard to gather the feedback from all of you out in the field and recycle it into guidance and adjusted protocol and educational materials to help you adapt to an ever-changing and unpredictable pandemic environment. I wanna end as usual with some recognition. Um, this is um, straight from, from our honorable mention program where we're soliciting feedback and stories about some of the incredible work uh, that's happening out in the community. And this is Dave Zachary, a physical therapist uh, in uh, our home, sort of home turf, if you will, of Camden County, New Jersey. Um, who this, this quote really sums up from a client's husband that Dave Zachary is the ultimate professional and his results oriented. He has a great knowledge of his discipline in a reassuring manner. I'm grateful for his deep insight into my wife's physical and mental condition. He clearly understood that my wife's dementia would impede efforts at physical therapy. He's an outstanding physical therapist. We were lucky to have him assigned to my wife. Again, from Camden County, New Jersey, special thanks to Dave Zachary, which I really like this quote because it, it addresses what I think often many that don't understand the nature of the work that we do every day, people overlook the essence, the, the social and uh, relationship elements of caring for people in the home. It goes beyond the medical uh, and the therapeutic intervention in this case, um, and really becomes about relationships, listening closely, showing empathy, tuning in uh, and responding to the needs of others and not just the client, but also the family, in this case, the spouse. And so special thanks to Dave Zachary, special thanks to this client for recognizing Dave and a, and a broader expression of gratitude and admiration for everything that each and every one of you are doing uh, during these really complicated times. We'll see you next week. <laughs>